I work on stretched a lot. As I mentioned, the very small ones are on stretched canvas and they are custom made afterwards because they're cropped and the size is made after the fact. So um, I do not stretch up everything because I'm not a zillionaire and I paint a lot and sometimes very large so I certainly don't stretch up everything but, um, but they are custom made because um, they're sized afterwards. I am now, which is in the studio, um, sometimes working on a larger piece. This one is 50 by 50, stretched. Um, I, I would work on anything. Um, if I had a very large studio, I would work on 20 stretched paintings and, uh, and 20 foot paintings. I've done 20 foot paintings and people think I have a very large studio. And um, I've always been inspired by Morris Lewis and I know that he's painted in a dining room and because I've studied artists forever in I think he painted half of, of it on a dining table and then the other half. Um, I do not have a large studio. I, I have this wonderful light in this little penthouse so therefore I never wanted to leave and, um, and, and get a studio elsewhere. Uh, what you were saying, stretchers, I said that. Yeah. What else? Well one thing uh Ask me anything. You're an artist. You know? Yeah. Well, one thing I wanted to ask is, uh, you know, uh, well, where you live? You live like so close to to everything. I have another studio, you know, down you on do? Mont Street. Yeah. Oh, okay. On yeah. Mont Street. Yeah. Oh, down in Chinatown. No, no, Mont and Princeton Houston, right here. Oh, okay. I didn't think it would be light enough for you, but um, we could have done it there if you wanted. Oh, nice. I would have just had one big painting, you know. Oh, okay. I have the large paintings there and the rolls there. I oh, actually, maybe maybe sometime or something we could we can go go down there and, and you know do some do some shooting down there. Okay, but I mean it's up to you. I just thought maybe you wanted the light. Yeah. Well, light is good. Yeah, <laughs> light is good. Yeah. Uh, light bulbs are just fine too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I have light bulbs. Yeah. Um. Well, I, uh, let's see here. Gosh, I'm, I'm trying to think of how to word this. Um, look at the camera. Look at the cat. He's inspiring me. He <laughs> likes sun. Yeah. Um, How uh, did you? You're not. Are you from New York? Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn. Okay. So you've never lived outside of New York. I did. I lived in California. You did. I lived in California. Yeah. And um, actually, that was a start, which I neglected to say. I just can't remember everything at once. Um, I hung out in Barney's Beanery and uh, I was a kid, maybe 18. I moved to California and I got really involved in the art world and Barney's Beanery was a real funky bar and I met a lot of artists, Larry Bell, just many artists and then um, I moved to New York and I married an artist but I did live a year in um, California and I think I grew up in a, a tenement which was small. I think it expanded my horizon for um, big sky and, and a, a larger feeling in life, you know, because I had never been in that kind of expansive space. So when I came back to New York, the space stayed with me. How did you find this space? Oh, it's a luck thing. Um, Everybody wanted this apartment, and in those days, it, it was not so ho slick or anything. It was key money that people would pay, and it was just timing. Actually, I um, asked my husband that night to get a divorce. We were in Chinatown, and the couple that lived here, I said, well, when are you leaving? Everybody wanted the place. They said, well, we're leaving right away, and it was just like luck. And we made a, at first a trade because she was teaching here once a week and I had a little tiny spot and um, she didn't need this space. They lived in Rhinebeck and so, but then, then it became mine. It's very magical with the terrace and as I said, the studio is not very large, but the feeling is, is very, very spacious.